welcome to this video playing Jemmy the Saint. I'm previewing G3, I hope that works out. Jemmy the Saint, that's a no name player, right? Yep. As I, as I recalled, so we got some, some English opening here. The E5 setup. That's a very, very decent setup for black. Playing a wrong move order here. Mm, yeah, I think it was okay. He couldn't really get in d5. White should try to prevent the, um, the d5 move, of course. So I'm going for that. Bishop e6, I'm going knight e3. Yeah, he's trying to go b5 in some cases here. So I'm trying to be ready for a knight move, like knight c, um, c6 to d4. I can go b4. So let's go. Yo, yo, let's go. That's uh, from the Ramones, right? Yo, yo, let's go. Is that the Ramones? Okay, he's trying to open stuff up, uh, but really quickly here. So let's take there. Am I not winning a pawn there in this process? So I won that pawn, but the question is, do I win the game in the long run? Okay, I think bishop is better. Getting the bishop on an active square. Okay, e3. Let's not be so quick there. I think it's good though. He has to go knight to e6. This is not such a great square anyway. Let's see what to do. How can I get rid of his active queen? Queen here maybe. Tempt him to take. Yeah, knight c7 doesn't help. No. So he just basically accepts that it's a lost end game. Okay. Let's see here. Bishop to b4 maybe. Oh, I guess and that, that could be a self pin. Let's not go into a self pin with rook b8. Bishop b4 now. That should win a second pawn, right? Should win the e4 pawn. Oh, you go. It can go rook c8. I'm sorry about that. Okay, didn't do that. So if I just grab this now, don't see a problem there. Okay, so bishop back here. Check. Yeah, it's two pawns. My idea is e4 and then rook a7. That uh, would be quite nice. Or just rook a8, by the way. Rook a8 is not bad. Okay, this, this way I'm going e4 now. Just push those pawns up the board. Yeah, okay. Protected passer. Hard to hard to resist, yeah, to get this. Okay, is there anything that you can do? I can also just play those kind of things. 
Let's see, going for 92. Now that would allow the check. That's not not necessary. I can go here though. What about, can I trap that knight maybe? Threatening rook d2 and the knight is trapped. Black resigns. Jim, it's a pretty straightforward game. Let's see, and this, this is a completely normal opening position. Don't quite. I don't quite know the details because I'm in this in this type of um, line. I'm always screwing up move orders. I always forget how it is correctly played. So here, yeah, he can actually take, and this is a mistake. We should take here. Ah, I see. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. Cannot move that rook. Have to go queen a4 there. Hmm. Queen a4 is okay. It's but it's equal. It's equal, of course. Well, this is probably mostly this is just blundering a pawn. Yeah, I'm just a pawn up. He's got no clear way of getting it back. <clears throat> this is a bit tougher than the game. This is recommended by the engine. I don't understand the move. <laughs> what is the point? Wants to give that back and go here. Hmm. Hmm. I, I doubt that I would have played that. Or let me, I mean, I basically know I wouldn't have played like that. And th this is now pretty straightforward. I think it's also much better to take with the bishop there, not take with the pawn. I mean, this is also quite okay, but the bishop is just strong on d5. Get that out and here. Well, I was thinking he shouldn't take, but somehow he did. And here, yeah, knight c7 is answered by bishop a5. That's a line that I saw. So here, and now I get the open file. Rook a1 is no good because of this. I don't want that to happen. And here, it's a pretty pretty straightforward technical job and I don't think I slipped up. Okay, that was okay. Thanks for watching.